Everyone has a childhood dream. For some, it's being a professional athlete. For others, it's becoming a famous movie star. But for those who dream of feeling the warm touch of a snitch, flying on a broom, or playing the magical game of Quidditch, those dreams are coming true today. This is Jason Galloway reporting for the Curbs of White. This is Jason Galloway up on a broomstick here. I, like most smugglers, I don't have a lot of experience up in the air. That's why this Quidditch is played on the ground. Here's some other rules of Muggle Quidditch. Muggle Quidditch is similar to regular Quidditch, but just a couple changes. Each team has three chasers. They try to score using the Quaffle, which is a volleyball, to throw through the hoops and score 10 points. Each team has two beaters. You throw bludgers at the other team, which are dodgeballs. If you get hit by a bludger, you have to run back to your goalpost before you can continue play. Each team also has one keeper, which is similar to a goalie in many other muggle sports. Uh, and they try to keep the quaffle from going through the hoop. And of course, each team has one seeker who try to grab the snitch and win the game. The snitches in muggle footage are actually people who run around. To get the snitch, you have to pull a sock with a tennis ball in it from their waistband. When a seeker grabs the snitch, it's 30 points are awarded to his team and the game is over. And the team with the highest score wins. One other different rule from Muggle Quidditch, you fall off your broom, you have to run two laps around the field before you can continue play. Okay, we're here with Jonathan Belenich, a first year Gryffindor at Hogwarts. Just talk about, you're here watching this Muggle Quidditch here. Is it a little silly? Of course it's silly, but it is very flattering. Because it's, it shows that they really care about our sport and that they really want to play it. Unfortunately, they can't play it as well as we can with the brooms, you know, and everything. It's not as violent because we can actually kill people, but it is fun. And it is nice to watch and feel admired that everybody is caring to watch about us and care. It's more fun to see regular footage though. Oh, absolutely. People flying around. And these matches can last for days because there's none of this whole, the snitch cast to come back after 27 minutes and run around the field. No, the snitch can go on and on and on. That's what makes it more fun. So, uh, does it tire you out a lot to run around knowing people are chasing you all the time? Heck yeah, man. I mean, I take off and they'll see me within like five minutes and I gotta just keep going and find a place to hide. And after that, about like, after 15 minutes or so, I come back here and they spend 10 minutes tackling me trying to get it. So, I mean, it's pretty tiring. Just throwing around. Have you, I'm what, still tired. What are your boundaries here? No, no boundaries. No boundaries. No boundaries at all, man. Is it? What's your strategy? Is it more running or more hiding? I'm trying to hide because if I keep running, then like I'll waste myself out on one snitch, and then they can just switch that guy out and something. So I mean, I'm trying to like hide as much as possible. And when I get back here, my entire objective is just throw them around so they're not behind me whatsoever. We're here with beater Jake Paul. <laughs> Talk about your experiences today. Um, it was a team of us from the rec center, a bunch of friends, and so we came out here and um, just threw a team together. And so, how fun is it to be a beater, just pegging people, throwing the dodgeballs around? Yeah, it's pretty fun. Um, just got it's, it's very strategic how you got to do it because you can guard them, and the only only we can touch the dodgeballs, and only they can touch the bludgers and things like that. So, we got a player right here. This is a, this is the seeker for a team on Quidditch on the quad right here. He's been looking for the snitch for a long time now. If he catches it, it's 30 points. This team probably wins unless they're getting killed. In the books, you know, it's 150 and that ends the game. Here, it's um, 30 and it ends the game. So um, we played a game, our preliminary game. We ended up, we had 50, they had 20. They found the snitch, so it made it um, a tie. So we had to go into sudden death. So um, I think it's smart. It keeps the game going. It keeps the competition going on out of the field and on the field. Let's talk about how sudden death works. Sudden death is when there's a tie. They, they start the game over, basically. They put the balls back in the middle, and we go back to our goalpost that we um, protect. And it's either the first person that grabs the quaffle and scores, wins, or whoever catches the snitch first. But the difference in the regular game is the snitch has to stay on our field. I'm here on a Quidditch field. I hope you enjoyed your inside look at Muggle Quidditch today. This has been Jason Galloway, reporting for the Crimson White. <laughs>